are you trying to create an Azure free account? And then at the end, at the end process, you receive the following message which says you are not eligible for an Azure free account. So I've tried this process several times and I keep on getting you are not eligible for an Azure free account. So let me tell you the reason why you are getting this message. First of all, when you try to register for an Azure free account, you are going to use three of the following. First, you need to provide your information. Um, you, you need to provide a mobile device number. Two, you need to provide an email address. And three, you need to provide a credit card. So the credit card will actually not be credited. It will only be used should in case you want to continue with pay as you go, then Microsoft is going to notify you. And then when you agree to go on with pay as you go, then definitely you'll be, then they will actually start crediting your credit card information. But if you, for example, you've entered the three information, your mobile device number, email address, and a credit card information, and you try again to create a new account with a new email address, but with the same telephone number and the same credit card, it is not going to work. So you are still going to you are still going to get the same error, the same message which says you are not eligible. And again, if you try a combination of, for example, a new telephone number, a new email address, but at the same time you are still using the same credit card, it's still not going to work because the, all this information has been stored in the database of Microsoft. The only way it is going to work is the following: you will need a new email address, a new telephone number, and a new credit card account so because i've tried the, this combination of a different credit card account a different email address but because i only have one telephone number i was not able to use it so the only option i, I have at this moment is to actually sign up for the azure uh, pay as you go but because i want to do i want to become an azure administrator i was thinking okay let me create azure free account to actually play with azure before um before my time expires probably I would have known some of the basics of Azure before writing this exam. But at this moment, since I'm not eligible, I have no choice than to actually sign sign up for the Azure we are pay as you go. So which means uh, definitely you can actually create a virtual machine and then just delete it. If you're not using it, then you'll not be charged that more. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope that this video has been of any help to someone who is who is actually trying to create a free um, Azure account and still stuck with this message which says you are not eligible. And if you think you have any question concerning Azure, you can always send me a personal email to my email address. I'm going to leave my email address in the description of this video, or you can leave a comment in the section of this video and I will reply to your comment to your comment as quick as possible. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video to help me grow my channel if this video has been of good help to you. Thank you very much and goodbye.